Hello. Welcome back. Hello, Sophie. I did add the boon command, so you can try that and see if it's working. Everyone had a nice Sunday. It is now Monday, but such is life. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I don't remember what we were doing. Uh, oh, this quest still. Not sure what I'd like to do. I guess we'll just still continue on with this quest. Wrong way. I'm wondering if going to Caesar and telling him we killed Mr. House will uh trigger don't tread on the bear. But I don't know. Now it's time for me to get lost in here again. No, it's not. I found the way out. I was gonna ask you, Sophie, is my, uh, the thing on the bottom of my loading screen was different than Beep Salts, is that because of a mod, or... Because theirs was less fancy looking. I just wondered. Like that thing. The spinning thingy. I don't remember what it's actually called. It's from a graphics mod. Oh, okay. Vault 11, Vault 22, and... Vault 3. I don't know if I've been to Vault 11. Okay, um, let's go to the two I've been to first. And let's wait until... Oh, there's probably still fiends here. No, I didn't want to hit Veronica. Ah. Uh, uh. I'm sorry, Veronica. I didn't mean to. Oh, that's stuck. I don't want to hit. Please, game. God. Hello, Jakku. How are you? Can't see shit. That didn't help. mad at me. Hold on. Okay, no. She's not mad. Okay, now I can rest, apparently. Just don't know what that means. That's okay. This won't matter since we're going down to the vault anyway. Oh my gosh, popping my finger. The fiend back there. They go. I don't know. Let's just go down here.
No power armor, no energy weapons, and they're giving the NPR more trouble than we ever did. Hmm. <laughs> the sass. Morning. House is dead. Wonder if Motor Runner will let us hit the strip now. Okay, currently they're not hostile. Much tougher to push around with that new sheriff down there. I probably will kill him at some point, but for now, let's just uh, try to get through here. House is dead. I wonder if Motor Runner will let us hit the strip now. Supposed to be looking for something. What are we supposed to be looking for? HEPA cartridge filters, reverse pulse cleaner, and a differential pressure controller. Alright then, how's sound by the way? My mic looks like it's almost peaking, so I don't know if I need to turn the game up and it down or Ranger Squad the other day. Good? They took out his group from a quarter mile off. Okay. Get the shakes. I need something to take the edge off. Thank you. Mic can be turned down. How's that sound? Any different? Turn it down just a little bit. Get the fuck out of my face. I did read that if you put Nuka Colas in Arcade Ganon's uh, inventory, he'll drink them <laughs> eventually. I think I was looking at his page. Are the cons gonna keep selling his shit if they join the Legion? That guy doesn't have anything to say. House dead. Strip can belong to anyone who wants. Fiends to rule. Mm-hmm. I doubt so. Assume it might be in the maintenance room. <laughs> Stream elements I started ten minutes ago. It's not time yet. My buddy saw some sort of elite ranger squad the other day. They took out his group from a quarter mile off. Water leak. Uh, Vincent Van Miller, maintenance chief. From Vincent to all residents. Hello everyone. I'm sorry to inform you that a small water leak that we detected a couple of weeks ago appears to be more serious than we first thought. We're going to have to vent the pipes in that section to isolate the leak and stop the pressure from stressing in the rest of the system. Unfortunately, this means that we're going to have to start rationing our water. My apologies go out to anyone currently residing in one of the affected areas. We'll be working to resolve the issue as soon as possible. Thanks, Vincent. Dinner? From Vincent to Jennifer. Hey Jenny, it was great getting a chance to talk to you. I'm glad to hear that things are going well for you. Curious if you'd like to meet me for dinner one day next week. I know I don't talk that often, but I feel like we really clicked last night. I hope you feel the same way. Looking forward to hearing from you soon, Vin. Re-dinner. Hi there, Vinny. Last night was so much fun. I can't believe it took this long to sit down and talk. Let's do that again very soon. Next time, maybe we can have breakfast together as well. Ooh, spicy. XOXOXO Jen. Thank you. From Vincent to William. Hey buddy, thanks for the advice. Dinner went great last night, and I'm not sure I would have been able to work up the guts to talk to her if you hadn't convinced me. Are you big time? 
I know you've been pretty stressed with the water issues, so if you need a break for some rec time, let me know. Get out of the way. I'm trying to hack in this computer. Um, scouting, blinking, thinking. Let's go in here first. My buddy saw some sort of elite ranger squad the other day. They took out his group from a quarter mile off. Some vault jumpsuits uh, from another vault I've gone to, but I don't know what happened to them. Let's see. Quit your whining. House is dead. Okay. Don't have to say it. about Prim. back there I wasn't expecting a resupply so soon what's the wild wastelands here Red Rock Canyon to sell me Can you tell me what happened to the residents here I guess it isn't a secret yeah the residents of the vault are all dead we killed them the funny thing is they just let us in we didn't have to force the doors or anything uh, why'd you move the fiends into this vault we needed some place to put down roots I was having trouble keeping my people out of West Side. What's going on in West Side? I try to keep my people out of West Side. Apart from trying to stay on good terms with the cons and do business there. There's a mean son of a bitch. That fucking mutant is more trouble to kill than to avoid. Having some place for my people to sleep reduces the chances of drifting into West Side. I'm paying 20 caps each for Jet, Psycho, or Buff Out. And get the fuck hmm. out, I'm a busy man. Hello. Oh, the dogs are named Donnie and Marie. Of course I'm over encumbered. Oh I am. I was just uh Where's Edie? 
I don't know. Whatever. I don't need to sell it, I guess. Uh, I didn't find the thing I was looking for, either. Why does it do that? Some of my stuff just does not sh That's not what I meant to drop. I guess I don't need that. What do I have on? That is what I had on. I need to, uh... That is what I was trying to drop. Anything? Oh. good for me? Is it a dress? Actually, what's behind this guy? Anything? What's he have? Not die. Hey. Oh, it's on Abadaba honeymoon. I didn't even see that. <sighs> I don't even see it on here. Did I miss it? Sophie. It was called Abadaba Honeymoon. I just failed it automatically. I guess I didn't go this way earlier.
fresh apple. saw. Did you do that quest before on your bad character? Which way? Okay, there's a closed door in here. That's where it is. It's not even negative karma quest, oh, really? There's so many balls. Flashing. Yeah, this stretch of line do be like. Um. The heck is this thing I'm supposed to be finding in here? Explode though. Doesn't matter because I have the <laughs> perk. Because you know I will walk on that, as shown by me walking on that immediately. Oh, yeah, one of my companions did, but I'm just saying I didn't set it off. Oh, 
Oh, still got my leg. Shaking, crying. This is a can. way first. Punch that one. Watch out. Billy rules. Hey, yeah, you come give us a hand. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> we were part of a caravan heading into New Vegas from down south. They're holding us hostage, trying to get some ransom. Anyone willing to pay for us died in the attack. Once the fiends figured that out, we're as good as dead. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, partner. I think the fiend with the key is back in one of the bedrooms somewhere. Someone called him Daniel, if that helps. You know more about Vault 3. I don't know much. Only that the people who lived in here originally were killed by the fiends. Carter there escaped and managed to explore for a bit. He hacked a password off of the computer and found the location of some guns. He was on his way to get them when the fiends caught him again. I help you escape, but you me the password he found. Yeah, it's yours if you help us out of here. Can you tell me about the fiends? They're a bunch of junkies that do whatever they can to get money for chems. I hear they're led by a guy calling himself Motor Runner. I think he's in one of the other wings, although I haven't seen him myself. Bye. Someone finally put down that sick Motor Runner. If you have anything to say, talk to Rick. Talk to Rick if you have something you'd like to say. There was some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. I don't know which one. Yes. Me, I killed Motor Runner. Wow, oh, this guy's already dead. I thought he was just asleep. Daniel Ra Ratty, Headmaster. Nothing else on that one, it looks like. Can 
I need to take the sexy slit where probably not, but I took it anyway. Which way did we come from? That's water. I'm gonna get lost in here. Pose automated blast message. Okay. These are so hard to pick up. No. Oh, there's empty syringes. Input to dice, reconnect to keyboard. That said simp did not, unfortunately. Veronica. Bastards. I'm not over encumbered. I hit enter. What? Yes, I am. What? Ugh. Why is she up here? Should have brought something to read. Aw. I came from over here. Oh, because this door is closed. Didn't mean to hit 
exit so fast. It's him, the dino toy. Bad data, cannot read. That's where I came from. <laughs> Duh. Oh, the vaults are so big, they're confusing. Okay, well, here's the overseer's office. Yes, so. Welcome, Overseer. Happy birthday. From George to Janet. Hi, Janet. How's the school you're going so far? I've heard good things from your teachers. They say you're one of the top students in your class. Your birthday is tomorrow. Sweet 16 at last. Can you even believe it? Seems like yesterday my sister told me she was going to have a little girl. Do you have big plans for your birthday? I think if you're interested, I could talk to some folks and get the dining room reserved for a couple hours. Uh, let me know if that sounds like fun and I'll start being the ball moving. Uncle George. Upcoming election. From Michael to George. George, we've been friends for a while, so I hope you didn't take my candidacy for overseer personally. I'm gonna do whatever I can to keep our friends and family safe, and if that means taking our exposure to the outside world slow and keeping ourselves outside what we need, of course, then that is what I'm going to push for. No one knows what it's going to be like out there. They could be horrific mutants or strange wandering vagabonds, aliens, murderous gangs. We have no idea. Let's be smart about this. Mike. Thank you. From George to all residents. Greetings, everyone. Thank you all for putting your trust in me. I'm honored to see as your overseer for the next term and hopefully beyond. I'm going to do everything I can to get Michelle's commitment or committee outside as soon as possible. We'll get our water issues resolved and form lasting bonds with our neighbors in the world outside. Thanks again for putting your trust in me, George Stalt, Overseer. Wait, was that guy from... Oh my gosh. From Mike, okay. So George won again. Weapon lockers. From Michelle to George. George, I'm not sure what Michael is planning, but I suggest that you leave the weapons in those two submerged storerooms. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any support, and there's no need for him to give himself the opportunity to arm himself. Michelle. Unlike storage room doors. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was another thing. Looks like all the terminals aren't working down here.
see. You need to just get stuck or. We're going to pick it. We saw nothing. Turn the alarm, but you can't look at it. Someone finally put down that sick motor runner, son of a bitch. Good riddance. How'd this guy get out? What? You again. You ready to give huh. us some help? Uh yeah. uh. Isn't he out of the jail cell? You still need help. They're free. Some cons got cornered in the ruins of old. You again. What? You re Thanks, Park. <laughs> I'm so confused. What is he doing? He's free. Supposed to look for the key, but that's already messed up. Take down this password. What? It'll get you into the overseer's area upstairs, I think. Thanks for the help. We'll find our own way out. Thanks for the help. Thank you for releasing us. I still haven't found the thing I came here for. I'm sure it's in the area with the water, which I'm going to have to find again. Um... Oh yeah, I have that rebreather. in here either. Edie, get out of the water. <laughs> Okay, we need 
to go to the recreational area, I guess. Get to the maintenance wing. I think. Oh. I'm confused. I don't see anything we can get. Sophie, do you know what I'm supposed to be grabbing? It is still in the dark, and it told us to go to this vault as one of them. When I'm on a local map, it says I'm in the right place. This is just the exit for the other ones. Oh. <laughs> it's in the locker. Ah! Never mind. I'm just dumb. Get back out of here. Don't laugh at me, I'm just a fool. I also have a question, and that is can you bring me the Vaseline for my lips and the coffee, please? What you, you said and something. The coffee. Oh. That should be cold by now, please. Oh. Hooray. We are free. Okay, before I uh, go to the other vaults, I'm going to... Thank you. Going to give the... Jumpsuits. Of course, there's enemies nearby. To the people in.
uh, New Vegas. out of here. God. Just get out of here. Fast travel. Thank you. Jeez. How obnoxious. Curious if they'd say anything different now that house is gone. Oh, hi again. Can I help you with something else? I know the Brotherhood. I want them left alone. Okay. Consider them forgotten, <laughs> along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten! That's four down, just one to go. Is it the constant at Red Rock Canyon? They can be ignored. If you say so, <laughs> consider them filed away under not to be discussed again. That accounts for all the tribes you needed to get to um, Mr. House is out of the picture already. You already took care of Mr. House? Wow, you work fast. Hey, for you to join me at the Lucky 38. Mr. House is out of the picture and you have the platinum chip? Wonderful. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, I don't know if that's actually what I want to do, because I'm not sure what that's gonna... Okay, that did get me Don't Tread on the Bear, so let's not do that. And what if I just talked to him without telling him the stuff about the Platinum Ship? Oh, or, uh... So House is out of the picture. Okay, let's see. Oh no, that completes wild card. Okay, so we're not gonna do that. Not yet, anyways. I might still change my mind. <laughs> Keep our options open. So I don't think Yes Man particularly gives a shit about much regarding what you do. <laughs> At least from what I've seen. Good to see you again. Um I've bought gear for you. You do? That's wonderful. Let me see what you brought. Alright. That's gonna net you lots of caps, my friend. Do you wanna trade all your vault suits right now? Oh, that makes me so happy. You are too much. Well, well. If um, let's see what you have for sale. Take a look at this. Oh, you don't have any many caps. Oh well. As our eggs, we have four. And let's see. Oh, Dinky the T Rex and the Dino Toy are different. Oh, just don't really have enough for that. Um, give that back. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Oh, I guess you can't take the other Vault 3 stuff. I never ask this. No, silly. Of course it wasn't always a hotel. I grew up in it. I love it. My favorite place in the world. Not that I know much of the world. I never left this place, come to think of it. But it is the most special vault ever. You've actually never left this place? Sure I have. I made the scene in the strip. It's just that I really like it here. Vault 21 is a kick. And the head. Um. What do you. What is. What do mintats? Uh. Let's pop a mintat and then talk to her. Well, well. If it is. Um, well, well, <laughs> well, it is my vault, all right. I mean, yeah, that is, no, I take care of it, but I suppose you could say that it belongs to Mr. House. Yeah. And uh. Mr. House has everything to do with vault 21. He tried to get us out before he filled it with concrete. I almost went ape. So we convinced him. Okay, Sheldon and I, right? We convinced him to leave the top level mostly intact. How do I get to that question again? Oh. 
Sarah, is there something- there is something behind all this, right? Okay, you're right. I hate going outside. It's almost impossible for me to step out of here. Still, I love my vault. It's my pad. All right, what would you like to know? My vault is pure New Vegas. Everyone has a chance, and Lady Luck smiles if you play your odds right. Okay, it was like that before we had to leave. Vault 21 had very smart ways to help people get along. All arguments and fights got solved through gambling. I'll give you a quick tour of my home. Oh yeah, if you like. Shay, let me ask you about something okay. else. Okay, anything else I can do for you? Um... So that Vault 21 was always a hotel? No, silly. Of course it wasn't always a hotel. Mr. Uh... I don't know. Maybe he didn't want anybody sneaking around down there. My vault runs deep and wide. It's filled with corridors and rooms that go far. What gives him the right to screw us with the royal shaft anyway? So he saved New Vegas. Woohoo! Now scram and let us go on with our lives. Sheesh. <laughs> Take care of that. Honor? I can have my vault back? That's just super. I thought we'd never see a different New Vegas. One that belongs to the people. It was bustling with activity. We all knew each other so well. You see, the vault kept us all even. It's all symmetry and windows down there. We solved any quarrels through gambling. Lady Luck cast no eyeballs, you know? So, nobody shafted anyone else. Yeah. I miss those days. You know Doc Mitchell? Mitch? You mean Molebutt? I hadn't thought about that name in a long time. I was just a child and he had a big mole in his rear bumper. <laughs> you understand, kids and all that. Everyone knows about each other in a vault. There's no other way. I hope Mole, I mean Mitch, <laughs> is doing well. You get one mole on your ass and now you're Mole Man. Sure, the place is packed, usually. We get loads of NCR cubes these days, a stray Brahmin Baron once in a while, and recently circle couples shining big rocks on their fingers. Yeah, I miss those days. Uh, how do we get her to do the chore thing then? Yes, this dialogue tree is hard to find. Vault 21 had very Radio, daddy o daddy Let's do it. Alright, please follow me. We'll head into the vault right away. Why did they give the female characters this walk cycle? I have a two. Entrance to the vault, solid stone outside, and thick steel on the inside. Hey. Well, well. If Is she gonna tell me any more, or... Hey. <laughs> she keeps saying hey like that. Above us, there's a control center for this level of the vault's life support systems, electric grid, radioactive shields, and all that jazz. Don't get lost. My vault has many corridors and rooms, although it is no longer symmetrical after Mr. House threw us out. Walking slowly. This is the main game hall. 
Here we settled the big disputes among the Bulk's levels. Chosen representatives gambled against each other here. The winner earned the right to settle the dispute as wished by the Collective. We used to have such parties in this diner. A bitch to clean <laughs> later, but well worth it. Okay. <laughs> Curious as to... This hall was uh, our guest hold on. <laughs> you can use the first room on our left, but no snooping next door. That's my room. Always was. Yeah, horny walk. Um... I was gonna say, I wonder what the most fucked up vault is gonna be in this game. In general. Just New Vegas, not the, uh... Down there is the and game room. all of Fallout. The side of the vault had one, but the other is filled with concrete now. Okay, that wraps it up. I'll see you soon. Well, well, if it isn't the vault explorer herself. Having you tonight is my pleasure. Your room is oh. ready. Go all the way down to the vault's main game room. Take the hallway to your left and then the first room on the left hand side. Enjoy your stay. First room, this is where you took me. Vault. First room on the left hand side. Uh. This one that has the door open. Get in here. these um now we gonna sleepy just for fun there's one vault that's heads and tails about the others in terms of messed up oh also hello how are you today do you want me to call another or mabbit I like to find out what people like to go by. Um, let's get back out of here. Mabe. Okay. Cool. Oh, where'd she come from? This way, I think. ED does not do well in the vaults. He just gets stuck. be nearby because the NCR music's playing. But yeah, it's right over there. Um, let's actually get back to what we were doing, which is still in the dark. So now we need to go to Vault 22. I already like the look of this vault a lot from the outside. Why does Edie keep getting stuck? What are you doing? Edie the upgrade in the game, and now Edie just seems more fucked up than before. Anything to say? I've been thinking. The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. Our training is top notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. We always make enemies, never allies. We refuse to recruit outsiders or see the value in their simpler technologies. Hmm. Why don't you do something about it? 
I don't know. I'm still thinking about what kind of role we could take on that would give us the best chance of survival. But I think things are starting to come together. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. See you around. Ooh, pretty, I guess. <laughs> My load order has been super stable. Oh, hello to you too, Agent Lemons. Uh, Lemons, you are the one I was talking about Morrowind with yesterday, correct? I think it was you. Because now my wife is here, and you, uh, asked me if she had played a certain mod, but I couldn't remember the name of it. But now she is here. And that is Stata, uh, Stern System Integrity Compromise, Unauthorized Login. Vault Expedition, enter one. I've established a temporary camp inside the entrance of the vault. Power inside is minimal, but still running, and I managed to hack into one of the security terminals. Uh, the logs show that several people have entered the vault over the past few months, but none have left. It's getting late, so I'll resume the expedition in the morning. Keely out. Uh, expedition, entry two. The growth of the interior matches the exterior to a T. It's a little surprising given the scarcity of sunlight in the entrance room, but even more surprising is that they seem to originate from further below. Maybe that fool Hildern was onto something after all. Since my pit boy is on the fritz, I'll try to keep a running log of my discoveries in whatever computers I can find and collate, collate the data before leaving. I wonder if this is one of the vaults with a um, specific music. I know someone mentioned the other one, the first vault I went in, which I cannot remember the name of, had a uh, fall, Fallout 2 music. <laughs> so if you didn't believe me that I had cleared Quarry Junction because she wasn't watching, but I did it. Um, wait, okay, so this is where I came from. It's like the local map. Edie's stuck in the damn entrance. I might just tell Edie to wait. Where is Edie? Ugh. Well, this sounds like original music. Unless it's from another Fallout game. Uh, let's go this way first. Dead Money soundtrack. This is Vault 22. The plant's vault. That's what, at least what it looks like. Stairs again, lab, elevator. Call out one music. Cool. Someone had mentioned the some of the vaults in this game have music from other Fallout games, so and I hadn't heard this track, so I wondered if it was from another game. Because one of the ones I was in earlier had music from Fallout 2, I believe. Oh really? That's cool. I like this track, it's creepy. Battered terminal. Noise complaint. Let's play it in your home vault in one. That's creepy music for a vault. 
The maintenance looking to the ductwork here on level 2 again. I know you guys took a look at this last week, but I swear the noise is back. I even have other people that can back me up on it this time too. Without spoiling, what is the like plot of Fallout 1? Explain it to me like I'm 5. <laughs> Just so I can know. I know who the master is, but I don't really know much else. I only know vaguely of super mutant lore and whatnot. Aww. Ooh. Cool. Big spoon. Set out to get water replacement for your ball and end up facing the master, a leader of the organization. Oh, I kind of went from zero to a hundred. Okay, um, entry three. This level seems to have been devoted to the study of atmospheric effects on plants, with a concentration on producing plants with high oxygen yield. Given the problems these vaults were known to have, it sounds like a reasonable avenue of research. G4. It's strange, but some of the sections have machinery down here appear to have been modified for some unknown purpose. The restraints regarding oxygen content and systematic pressure have been bypassed. Or systemic. Uh, bah, entry 5. I've been hearing strange chittering sounds for some time now, and finally discovered its source. There's some kind of giant mantises that have taken up residence in the vault. I must have ran smack into one of them the other day, but the creatures don't appear to react to my presence at all. Perhaps the others sent here ran afoul of the creatures, but I can't see how a few scattered insects could put much of a problem to experienced marks. Hmm. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Uh-oh. Don't say uh-oh. Check inventory. Current inventory for storage room 2. 14 nitrogen canisters, 2 pressure valves, 8 disperser nozzles, 6 cartridge filters, and 26 FRP piping. Uh oh, stinky indeed. Oh, that's just a stair down there. Um... Come from this way. There's a ED. <laughs> That's where I came from, right? Yes, okay. And then went to the lab, so let's go down these stairs. Yeah, the mumbling is very creepy. <laughs> All the songs that have that creepy voiceover in the background. Let's get a food production. That's the elevator. And uh, three more stairs. Uh. Uh. The fuck. You. Don't like that. I really don't like that. Ugh. Uh, entry 6. I finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that lived here. They appear to be overgrown with some form of lichen. They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked right by several of them without even noticing them. I've taken the proper precautions, but the lichen doesn't seem to be contagious, at least to ghouls. This level appears to be where they perform most of the research. NCR is interested in- oh, pff, that was the whole sentence. I've been able to collect a little, but the vast majority of the data from this research down here is inaccessible. I'll have to find the main backup and download from there.
security request. Sissip Mathers went into the caves at 1846 today and still isn't returned. Requesting security escort for assigned personnel to conduct a search. Medical emergency. We need a medical team up here now. Dr. Peters just returned with one of the security escorts who is horribly wounded. When I asked him where the other security officer was, he just paled and shook his head. In the meantime, Dr. Bailey has ordered that the door to the caves be sealed until further investigation can take place. Help. Is anyone down there? Security is trying to hold off. Well, I don't know what they're trying to hold off. Please, send security at once. With Dr. Bailey washing over his sick wife and daughter in their quarters down the common area, I'm officially in charge of the level and I'm requesting security at once. Uh, there's a lot of enemies over there. Till further notice, the door to the caves is to be sealed at all times for order. By order of Administrator Bailey, see him further details. And that disengages the lock. Access denied. Contact admin for clearance. Hmm. That's where it came from. Yeah, they run at you. Uh... Status report. You have to continue to improve. Splicing together cultivar GN188 with the existing corn samples has produced a hybrid that responds better to the artificial lights we have. On a side note, Dr. Peters has missed his third straight day due to illness. His worth ethic hasn't exactly been stellar at this point, so I'm requesting confirmation from the clinic that he is, in fact, sick. Uh, another status report. On a lark, the guys down pest control sent up a sample of the substance one of their specimens secretes to attract insects. Tests show that the substance has a mood-altering effect on smaller mammals. If anyone volunteers, we can begin human testing soon. Quite a number of the staff have begun to show symptoms of some of the viral infection. Excuse me. I've begun to order them to stay in bed and recover, but at this rate, there won't be anyone left to do research. Not much to report today. The mood is unusually somber in the wake of Dr. Peter's passing. There's a strange rumor going around that the commotion downstairs was caused by, of all things, Dr. Peter's corpse suddenly animating and attacking people. I don't know who would start such a vicious rumor, but it's an exceptionally bad taste. Good night, I love you, even though I will tell you that in two seconds when you come in here. <laughs> and thanks, I will try to have a good stream. I will have a good stream, despite how creepy this is. Uh... Something just run past over there. Like it. Sorry, I was saying goodnight. Um, okay. Where? Okay, couldn't go through that one yet. So I need to get back to the stairs. Okay, there's the elevator. Uh, let's take the stairs down and save first.
Oh, I'm out of ammo. Get away from me. Ah! Veronica is not behind me for some reason. Uh... Oh, there she is. What's he shooting at? The Easters are blocked off. It's an elevator. Um, the elevator does not seem to be working. Elevator opens without a hitch. Buttons correspond to different levels of bog glow faintly along the wall. Uh, let's leave this alone for now, but we can come back to it. So we're gonna go this way. Over level. Veronica yelling back there. It's like a pair. Take a fresh pear and eat it. Veronica, I asked you to go that way. something pop up. Uh, there's a computer. Entry 8. I guess no one will make this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. Looks like this is where most of the people were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of them succumbed to some kind of airborne infection. I'm gonna see if I can convert some of the grow lamps into spectrometers and test their, to test the air for contaminants. Entry 9. After numerous attempts, I've found a range that highlights the particles in this air that I believe killed everyone in this vault. Preliminary tests show them to be spores of some kind. I set up spectrometers on several of the levels now, and the concentration appears to increase in the lower levels. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may constitute a danger to the people of the NCR. Uh-oh. Come on! There's nothing to fight yet. So that was lower level. Overseer's office. Is there a plant person in here? Actually doesn't appear so. Crew quarters, unlock data backup, unlock cavern access. Toilets and mushrooms into toilet. Oh, there's the rats down here. 18? Jeez. Five for the water fountain. Oh, no. Is there one in here? He's using the bathroom, leave him alone. I'm dead now. Um... 
I need to go to this thing that's at a lower level. Which was where? It's over this way. There it is. back up. Oh, he's back down. At some point I need to get a uh, pushy for Veronica. Okay, there's the quarters. Let's go to the, the clinic first. And then we will go to the quarters. Uh system has been corrupted. Retrieving uncorrupted files only. Case 162. Patient, Harrison T. Peters. Condition. Dr. Peters is suffering from a severe case of pneumonia, the results of the spread of some sort of some sort of microbes in his lungs. I've applied the usual treatment and requested that he refrain from working and stop by twice a day for observation. Case 164. Group. Patients. Mitchell, Pam Mitchell, Michael Cordella, Samwise Horton, Naoki Fujimoto and Kenneth Dorita. Uh, update. This entire group showed up throughout the course of the day displaying the same symptoms. They're remarkably similar to Dr. Peter's condition when he first came in a week ago, but we don't have a contagion on our hands. Case 162 update. Dr. Peters isn't responding to treatment, or more accurately, his body is actively rejecting the treatment. His condition has worsened, and I'm on the cusp of ordering exploratory surgery. Uh, case 173, group. Patients. Elizabeth Bailey, Marsha Bailey, Hayes Garfield, or, uh, what? Uh, Garfield, Hayes, uh, Garfield, Amy Hayes, Herman, Veronica Jenkins, James Keyes, Robert Kirkpatrick, Amanda Lowry, Donald Orlando, Iris Pamino, Ratto, Stephen Ratto, Yolanda Reyes, Kelly Sarkin and Nicholas Valdez. Update. Another group with chills, a fever, and a terrible racking cough. I'm recommending that they be separated from the general populace. Case 162 update. Update. Dr. Peters is dead. His vitals flatlined 10 minutes before he entered surgery. <clears throat> I declined. I decided to form an autopsy immediately and discovered his lungs were filled with some sort of fungal infection. Strangely, the fungus still shows evidence of growth despite the death of its host. I'll consult with one of the mycologists on the fifth level and see if they can identify it. Case 162 update. Update. I don't really know how to describe what just happened. One minute I was closing up for the day and the next minute Dr. Peter's corpse sat up and attacked me. I was able to flee the office and seal him, it, inside until security arrived. What the hell is going on? If all the recent illnesses are the same thing. Spooky. This place is truly unnerving. I need a drink real quick. My throat's getting. Whoa. 
scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Damn, Veronica. Hello, Ro. And yes, I am. This set vault is really cool, though. All the plant life mixed with the, like, industrial grodiness. It's also very creepy. <laughs> but, uh, I enjoy this sort of aesthetic. The music they picked for this fall is great. It's very unnerving. Uh, there's gotta be some spore people in here. Hmm? No? Surprising. So this is a dead end from this point on. So let's look at the other side now. It's radio playing somewhere. Uh, it's like a utility. There's a terminal in here. Ticket one, strange noises. Noises and vents. Action. Send a team to inspect. Result. Source of problem not detected. Ticket 2. Gas leak. Problems. Resort to possible gas leak. Several people have complained of coughing fits and other respiratory symptoms. Action. Complete diagnostic of air circulation system. Result. Discovered minor discrepancies in the mass of air being pumped through the vault, but no harmful gases were detected. Also, a strange residue was detected on air filters, which has been forwarded for identification. Swapped out the filters just in case. So while I'm here, I'm also uh, looking for a quest item, which is apparently not on this floor. That's okay, we'll keep looking. Oh, this is what's been sparking. I thought it was someone shooting at me. Probably not safe to say I knew that, but we did it anyways. And then, okay, to the upper level. So now I think we need to. I think I unlocked the cave access. So we need to find that room again. That's just the bathroom. Elevator stairs. Okay, this one's already dead. Um what? Where it came from. Okay. Ah. It's so easy to get lost in the vaults. Okay, stairs, 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 elevator. Okay, nothing on that side.
sorry. <laughs> uh, hiccup. Okay, now we're gonna go this way. I should have a lot of mantises. A lot of giant mantises. Ugh. Intralab network pest control subsystem. Species 1. Species BE908. A dis distant relative of the more commonly known Venus flytrap, species BE908 seems to be performing well. The plants are a threat to creatures up to five times their size due to the violent nature of their closing maws. Those that aren't swallowed whole are often incapacitated by the initial bite of the plant's lack of mobility. Oh, the initial bite. The plant's lack of mobility is offset by their ability to lure prey into reach by means of a nectar they secrete from their bodies. Ew. Species 2. Species Mantis religiosa. Of all the species brought with us, the common mantis exceeds the rest in terms of predation. The insects are voracious, and their camouflage allows them to attack prey by surprise. Also, they complement our botanical specimens by hunting down those pests that avoid escape or our other measures. Lastly, mantises will begin cannibalizing one another when other food is scarce, making their numbers self-regulating when prey is scarce. Species 3. Uveria mordicana. An uh, entomopathogenic fungus, B. mordicana, has been developed to colonize the body as the most common pest. Once it has fully colonized the host body, the host technically dies. The body continues to move by means of the fungal colony within it. In this manner, the fungus moves among amongst more of its prey, occasionally spraying spores and radius around the host body, affecting all who come near it. Its drawbacks include the time it takes to kill prey, 10 to 20 days, and its limited effectiveness when dealing with unsocial pests. Oh, there's stuff like that in real life that affects some animals and it's just disgusting. The fucking fungus taking over their brain. Awful. Wrong button. Which is obviously what happened to these people. Okay. Oh, not Edie. I don't know where that's at. Oh, that's Veronica. Jesus. scared me. Stairs, elevator. So we can go this way. Sorry for shooting you, Veronica. Uh. Goddamn. Okay, we're gonna go in that other room in just a second. Uh, okay, that is from like the cave.
Definitely not done here yet. What? Monica, you don't need ammo. You got a dang ass me carry the heavy thing. Stuff. If you want to throw frag grenades, be my guest. Hello, Ghost Danny. Yeah, they are uh, creepy and the music doesn't help, but it is a good atmosphere. The music is great. Oh, she's still alive. I thought she'd be dead. Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you. Yes, Angel Williams asked me to come find you. Oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little Peden she works hmm. for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. Of course, I'd be glad to help. Good. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done. Well, before that, we still have to find the uh, EHPA batteries we came here for, or whatever the hell they are. I guess for now we need to get back up. Now the Legion working with ghouls would be something to see.
go after this one. Um, where are we? They're not out right against schools or super mutants. Ah, okay, that's the research data. Yeah, I got the data. I'm actually here for the uh, Brotherhood of Steel quest. See you upstairs. But I totally remember that she was in here too. Okay, let's see here. So I need to go to food production. I wasn't, I'm gonna have to find it again. And yeah, I made sure to download the data from the uh computer. Mm. So that's the data room again further away. I'm looking for the uh each e H E not each H E P A cartridge filters in this vault. But I need to get back to food production, I think. Actually, let me see what the options are on the elevator. Oh. Well, that works. Over here. Good, you're here. Ready to begin? Yeah, I probably need a hint. Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are for you, humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Uh, any idea? Any idea where these vents are that I'm looking for? I set the gas to pump into the fifth level since that's where the concentration of spores was highest. I'd start looking there. Typically, these vaults use circular vents in their air circulation systems. Look for a wall with two of them almost side by side. There's one just around the corner outside this lab if you need an example. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> we'll look for that then. Uh, how exactly should I like the gas? In the area where the gas is active, any kind of fire or explosion should do the trick. Hell, even lasers would do the job. If you don't have anything like that, I've got some grenades in my bag in the corner that you can use. 
glass. Yes, there'll be an explosion when the gas is ignited. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll be fine. Now leave me to my work. Sounds dangerous, but I'll do Good. it. Return to me when it's done. I feel like I grabbed a key at some point. Um, science is at 85 right now. Before I do that, let's see if I can... I actually picked up a key, or I just thought I did. Uh, that is a dead end. Vault. Uh, it's not the living quarters. Um, let's see where this elevator can take us. Common areas. I assume the living quarters are here. Oh. Katie. <laughs> Stairs. Overseer's office, quarters, utility. So I did go here. Okay, that's the bathroom. This is these. I think I got everything in the overseer's office. I will double check. I don't know if there's anything particular in here I need. I'm gonna check the computer in here. Uh, sorry, I'm yawning. Oh, I went to bed at 6 p.m. and woke up at 3.30. And I feel the most well-rested I have in weeks. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. My sleep schedule's been messed up, so now I'm going to be able to cycle it. That's his lower level. Let's see... Remember, it's utility. Clinic. Quarters. I think I did look in all these rooms, but I'm double check. This one? I feel like one of them was locked. something there. Do you read the story on this vault? Yeah, I've uh, read all the terminals I've ran into. This thing dead. Okay, it's dead. What is that? Um, okay, this one's open as well. Yeah, they all got infected by the spores and became the creepy uh, spore carriers, or got killed by the spore carriers, which would then have the spores take over their dead bodies.
I might have. Now I just gotta find the door. <laughs> There's a locked door that need a key, and I don't remember where I saw it. Those are the kitchen areas. That's a dead end. It's the bathroom again. Okay, this is the way back out. is how do I get over here? That's the entrance hall. Do I want to take these stairs or not? Find out once I take them. That's food production. Uh, the lab, the elevator. Stairs. So lab no. Still the lab. Um, Edie is just waiting ominously there for me. Okay, she's in there. And this is just a circle, I think. Yeah, I like Edie a lot. Another lab room. I think I just looked at this. Okay, that's another lab room. Wrong side of the map now. I'm just going in circles. I'm frustrated. Stupid bald. That's just a circle again. Let's find Edie. Back at the entrance. Oh, now I'm just lost. So bad at directions. I need to get to that from a lower level door through a section of caves blocked behind that door. Oh, okay. Well, we need to go down to the fifth floor anyways. Let's start from there. <laughs> I can find the elevator. Ah! I become lost once again. Uh, 
Uh, there they are. Been here yet? No, it's blocked off. Well, why is it locked then? It's a skeleton. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Neat laser rifle. Here, you take that. <laughs> So that was for a rifle. I always forget repair is a thing you can do. Let's save. Uh, elevator. does not do well in the vaults. I notice they get stuck a lot. <laughs> Poor Edie. Um, okay, why ones are here? here for a bit. I guess I needed that egg for a quest. Oh, it's that Red Lucy quest. Um, okay, so that's where we came from. These ones are dead already. This is a dead end. Um, okay, I'll just try this way anyways. Is that where I came from? I 
found that door yet. So maybe I'm getting somewhere. Or this might be for the quest. Or maybe it's both. Find out. And Veronica can get over there. Aha! Okay, but we need to do this while we're here. Find the Vince Keeley's pumping grass, gas through and ignite the gas. So that should be around here too, which as you said was on the lower level. That's me. Move my quest marker. Uh, I guess she teleported. <laughs> so I don't think it's here. That's why I'm trying to figure out where the gas thingies are. Probably not. I look at these. this room. in a completely wrong way. I'm 
so confused. Uh, let's go here. What? Find two quest markers is not helpful at all. on the fifth floor. Oh, this is so confusing. Another quest marker doesn't make sense. Where am I? That was the stairs, not the elevator. Quest mark is up here. God damn it. Ah! God. Veronica! I died too. Oh, I don't know what the last time I saved was. Where am I? Who am I? find the damn elevator. There it is. Yeah, let's try not to die this time. Uh, 
Oh no, don't tell me I don't have that. Yeah, okay, I got the filter still. Uh, I was gonna lose it. Maybe I should have saved before I shot out a bunch of gas, but I didn't. There it is again. All right, Veronica, just go in here. Stop dying. Wait Good here. Luck. Edie, I don't know where you're at. Lost. Well, get up. Now nah, we're fine. <laughs> We live this time. Somehow. Okay, now find the elevator once more. <gasps> Yeah, I'm on easy. I'm bad at games. Okay, she's on second floor, I think. There she is. Ah, good. You survived. <laughs> I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. What needs to be done? I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Will it take long? No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments, and that's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently and copied to an external source. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Copy the files. Hildern sent me here to get them. Yes, that sounds like something he'd do. Well, there's nothing for it then. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. Oh, deleting these files makes it more likely that this will happen again. How do you figure that? Science isn't just about success. Failures are just important at just as important to learn from. I suppose the data here could serve as a warning to other scientists. Tell them what paths of research not to follow. Exactly. Without that knowledge, something similar is bound to occur. Alright. You convinced me. Take the files back to that buffoon. You make a good point. But I still honestly hope you know what you're doing. I've unlocked the door, so you're free to run along now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. Don't mind me. I have to wrap things up here, gather my gear, that sort of thing. I'll be leaving soon enough. Has your research turned up anything interesting? A few things here and there. But a lot of the data has been corrupted, and all of the live samples have been contaminated by the spore plants. One interesting thing I found is that one of the chemicals secreted by the spore plant serves as a mild stimulant when ingested by humans. As far as I can tell, it has no side effects or addictive properties. Aside from the inherent psychological ones, of course. Now that I think of it, there was a corporal farmer back in McCarran who'd probably be interested in it. There's a sample of it around here somewhere. Bye. Okay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Getting my circling thing there. Uh, I don't think I got the sample. I don't know, maybe I did. I'll come back here if I didn't. <laughs> right now, I'm tired of here. It's too much. A little pea brain can only handle so much. Should be next to the computer on a desk. 
Oh, where she was? Hot plate. I guess I can go look at that really quick. I need to grab everything. I'm sure I'm bound to miss things at times. Oh, I don't mind spoilers about hints. Make a backseat gaming allowed. I don't know, I might have picked it up. <sighs> ah. I'm the kind of person that looks up spoilers on purpose. Finally free from that vault. Well, it was very cool. It's a little confusing. Okay, let's head back to Camp McCarran, uh, and then we'll continue with the Brotherhood quest. But first, I'm going to take my stretch break, so I'll be back in just a few. Okay, I'm back. I don't think I've heard this music before. It's nice.
I remember if they're downstairs or up. Downstairs. Keely just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Anything new? Fed researcher. My uh, okay. Right. And then you should be back here. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. I brought the data from Vault 22. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. <laughs> By the way, that vault was just as dangerous as Williams thought. I don't see how that's relevant. The dangers of the vault were your business, not mine. The only question is whether the data is still intact. I think Williams' decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. An asshole. I'd be careful with that data. You didn't see those plants in the vault. Your concerns are perfectly understandable, but I assure you, they're entirely misplaced. We would never use technology that wasn't fully tested. We aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. We're with the government, mm. for goodness sake. Have a little faith in us. What we're off to do next. Well, let's continue with Still in the Dark. Back to the vaults we go. Do you need to heal first? Any beds I can sleep in without them yelling at me? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, this one's not owned. to sell stuff to first so let's go to Veronica to wait. Gosh dang it. Ah. Welcome, sir. I'll we'll grab them in a minute. Uh, should have some stuff to sell still. How did I that? One lady.
need to go back to get Edie and Veronica. Because I keep forgetting I told them to wait. Uh, I need to get to Interstate 188. Where are you at? Should just go to Prim first. <laughs> Since at least I remember where that one's at. Then we're going to go to there should be another vault we need to search. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's Vault 11. I don't know why it's not showing up on here. Let's go back here really quick. Maybe that will help. The quest markers stop being confused. Hey, you got a second? What is it? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. I'll take you back there for a chance I get. Great, thanks, thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after me. Seriously. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got a new quest. Which is... Okay, let's do this one first. Gosh, Veronica. She has anything else to say. Um, I guess not yet. Going, Veronica. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? We'll know in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. 
the things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. What's up? Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? Please make all haste in your search. It is imperative that I know the results of his mission. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's <laughs> lectures. Figure I own for that. <sighs> he means well. Good intentions don't justify marching the Brotherhood to its death. No, but it does make it easier to forgive him. He's just misguided. It's not too late to change his mind. Think the Elder will listen at all? He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. Father Elijah? Our elder before McNamara. He had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert, chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. What is it you're trying to accomplish? That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're going to survive, we have to find a role in society, attract new members. How would you propose to do that? Look at the followers of the Apocalypse. They use their expertise to improve people's lives. They train them to be self-sufficient. That expertise cultivates respect and gratitude, spreads their ideals, draws talent to their cause. They make friends like we make enemies. But they don't know a fraction of what we know. If we took on their role, we could stand up to anyone. We wouldn't have to hide. What could be ring him? That would change his mind. I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail. Or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets its attention is technology. Hmm. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. What is this? Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. Sorry about that. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes. Hmm. A little aggressive there. What time is it? Oh, wait in this location. Okay. Gibson scrapyard. So let's roll on down there.
Let's see what we've got here. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Although, maybe the rangefinder could work too. And it looks like the NPR was onto some miracle farming technology. What's a pulse gun? Electromagnetic weapon from before the Great War. Experimental. It never saw mass production. But they were building it as a countermeasure to power armor, which they feared the Chinese were developing. Supposedly a prototype was being housed at Nellis. Imagine what it could do to the Brotherhood. We'd be on equal footing with any idiot with a gun. Farming technology? Hmm, more or less. Supposedly it's a vegetation enhancer. NCR has a science branch headquartered at McCarran Airport. Guess they found something. Guess somebody wasn't very good at keeping secrets either. We'd never pursue it because it's not a weapon, but self-sufficiency is fundamental to us. If it works, they'd see the value of an alternate course. Tell me about the rangefinder. It's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at Helios 1. It was lost sometime after the war. We held Helios 1 for a time. Lost a lot of people defending it. Too many. All for this weapon they never got working. If it turns out to be a dud, it should show how flawed our goals have been. Father Elijah said he thinks a scavenger might have sold it on the strip. The rangefinder might be a problem. I reactivated Helios 1, and it's not powering a weapon. The oh, hell. Well, how could you know, right? Okay, two other options still on the table. We should go after the vegetation technology. But, yeah. Okay, what better way to persuade them than to give them a taste of what they stand to gain, right? Maybe the best place to start is to see what we can find out directly from the NCR. Let's head to their OSI office at McCarran. I like the way you think. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, real quick, before we do that, I want to get Veronica a certain weapon. Excuse me. We are going to try to get to Ruby Hill Mine. Actually, we can go down this road down here, and that would be fine. Just gotta find it. What's that? Oh, that's just a big corner. Not too worried about that. I didn't really explore this area when I uh, went to Jacobstown. I just kind of ran straight through. I'm not sure which side it's on. We'll find it there.
really like this song. Mm. There's something or other up here. For the Brotherhood. Mantis, leave me alone. Oh, now where am I? Um, why is Edie up there? Side. I gotta go back. Get too far. We're gonna look around more in this area. Those are just big corners. It shouldn't aggro us unless we get too close to them. Ruby Hill Mine. We are looking for a person. A dead person. It's in the mine. Okay, so we need to actually go inside of here. How is that? Ew, what is this? seen one of these before. I 
are these things? You need to carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Never. Stuck in the wall. Ah, it is stuck. What's up, Peter? Hold on. Slay? Here. Can you come up here? Come on. Slay? Here. Come on. I know you want up here. almost here. Come on. There you go. He gets sad when I don't let him get up here, even though I always let him get up here. Let me scoot, scoot forward, bud, and you can lay down. Come on. You can lay down. Alright, let me let him figure out where he's gonna lay. Yeah. You can lay down here. As long as you don't lay on the keyboard, you can lay over here. Uh... How are they shooting at me? Oh, that does a lot of damage. He's running away. <laughs> you are a silly boy. There he goes. Oh, hold on, he wants me to open the window for him. Be back in just a second. Alright, I'm back. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Opened the window for him. Took off my sweater because I was getting kind of hot. Ooh, got something good for me? Yes, yes I, I do. do. Heck yeah. Let me give her some of the uh, other stuff too. Now discovered lake lurks are gross and we don't like them. There you are, Edie. Okay, now what was next up on our list? Now it's showing where we need to go, which is Vault 11. So we're going to do that before we do Veronica's quest. <clears throat> so we can kind of have the uh, culmination of it all at once. Let us... I think bed's here. That's your bed. There's one other person I need to talk to here, actually. Um, let's wait until morning. With House Dead, we'll have Vegas Annex before the year's out. I've still got guns and ammo. Sure do. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? I've still got guns and ammo.
You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Shake up in the management of Gamora. I wonder what that's about. Is there some reason I should be talking to you? Like you have a clue what that even means. The gun runners have been putting rapid fire death dealing in the hands of anyone who needed to defend himself for over a century. We're the NCR's number one supplier of weapons and ammunition. You might call us an unofficial branch of the army. What do you do? I'm a salesman. I swing through McCarran and the dam once a week or so to take orders. Lately, I spend most of my time in this piss heap. Ever since the 15 shut down, all caravans come through here, right to me. I check the stock and direct deliveries onward to meet orders. Sure, it stinks to hang out here, but it won't be forever. Plus, I can afford a monthly bender on the strip and still build up my nest egg. Not much to tell. A Brahmin or two loaded up with weapons and a whole mess of well-armed guards to make sure it ends up where it's supposed to. There's one nifty bit, though. The gun cases are rigged to explode, so trying to loot one of our caravans doesn't do much good. And that's how the NCR stays equipped. The only thing we don't bring in is energy weapons. Why don't you deal in energy weapons? We used to. But every caravan carrying them was getting ambushed and wiped out by someone sophisticated enough to know which was which. But we think it was the Brotherhood of Steel. Those crazies always go hard for energy weapons. But the NCR would rather pretend they killed all of them. I don't like your attitude. Like it any better if I tell you to fuck off? <laughs> Still making a nuisance of yourself? Yes. See what you have for sale. Am I selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. There's usually a gun merchant hanging around topside. I'm sure she'll take care of you. Later. Oh, All right, whatever, asshole. Who's this? Hello, ma'am. I hope you're doing fine today. Where are your parents, kid? Are you all alone? I don't have a mama or papa anymore. I see them sometimes when I take off my medicine, but they can't stay. I'm pretty used to being on my own. Oh, I don't sell things, ma'am. I sell thoughts. You sell thoughts? I can take off my medicine and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. What is your medicine? How do you take it off? This thing on my head is headache medicine. It works real good, except I can't think when it's on. Really think I mean. I might be interested in buying your headache medicine, how much, or I'll pay a hundred caps to hear your thoughts. Great! What do you want me to think about? I can think about you, here, or everywhere. What do you want? You're thinking about me. Okay. Let me take off my medicine. Your face does the thinking. Two to the skull. Yet one gets up. Odds are against you. But they're just numbers after the two to one. You're playing the hand you've been dealt. But you don't let it rest. You shuffle and stack. And a gamble. A gamble that may pay off, but how? Forecast? Rapidly changing conditions. A lot of thinking. Most of it in your face. It's almost shouting at me. Sorry if I said anything weird. 
Here's another 100 caps. <clears throat> I want to hear your thoughts sure. again. I could do some more thinking. What should I do my thinking about this time? Do your thinking about everywhere. Let me take off my mask. Bull and bear over the dam at each other's throats. But a light from Vegas? Balls spinning on the wheel. More than two at the table. Placing bets. All lose in different ways. A dam of corpses. Towns of corpses. Scattered across the sand. But whose? In what shares? Even the dealer doesn't know. Forecast? A rain of blood will flood the desert and not purify it. Blah. Thinking about everywhere always makes me feel a little sick. What are you thinking about here? I need to take off my medicine. Local, local. The here and now. Little of interest. Things to buy. False hopes and regrets watered down. Washed down in dirty glasses. With regret comes a girl. Smiling sad. Brown robe. Name Veronica. Half here. Wraps her and her heart up like a pack. In the pack. A key, some say. Forecast. Cloudy with a chance of friendship. Ouch. Thinking small only hurts a little. But it's a sharp pain. Any more thoughts I can pay you for? Sorry, ma'am. All that thinking has made my head hurt. I don't think I'll be doing any thinking for a long time. I thought I'd be seeing you again. I might be interested in buying your headache medicine. How much? Or, uh, how do you know these things? Oh. I don't know anything, ma'am. I just think it. And then I don't. You don't sell the junk behind you? That's not junk. That's other people's thoughts. People had to think to make them, and the thoughts got stuck inside. I need other people's thoughts to fill my head when I'm not thinking myself. Otherwise, it's... kind of empty. Thinking hurts you, too? Aw, I wish I could let you have the one on my head, but I can't. It hurts real bad when I don't wear it. See you later, alligator. I'm not gonna take any of this kid's stuff. I just wanted to look and see what he has. Let's give him a... No, it fell through. Everything Hi. fell through. Hello. So long. Sorry, I wasn't trying to tip over your baby carriage here. Oh. I'm trying to be nice. Eh. <laughs> I'm running away before I mess it up more. Let's go around and see if we can get in that way. for another vault. Why 
I figured that would happen, but I wanted to see. It's not going to open again. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no. There's a lot going on. Is it going to open? Rumors about Haley are baseless. <laughs> it's me. Don't vote Glover, his family needs him. <laughs> Haley is a known adulterer and communist sympathizer. Elect Haley for overseer. I hate Nate. Glover has done nothing wrong. Wall entrance. Oh. Well, we have a lot of things in here. Right, all those. Four corpses at the front entrance of Vault 11 and a strange recording point to sinister events. Determine what happened to the citizens of Vault 11. Good morning, Ohio. Oh no, will you die at work? I hope your day goes fast and Wednesday comes soon. And yeah, uh, is it maybe or I already asked this earlier, but maybe or maybe 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 or maybe. <laughs> and yeah, I just I just now walked in here. Um, I am doing the quest for the Brotherhood of Steel, but also I thought this was funny because Haley is my name. I'm not a known adulterer, but I might be a communist sympathizer. You never know. Um. Oh, I have animal friends, so the rats aren't gonna attack me. They're just gonna exist. Okay, maybe, maybe, either one. Sorry, sometimes I have a. What in here, rats? Oh my god, they're attacking the mantis for me. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I have trouble saying certain names with letters in a row because I have like uh, a mild speech impediment since I was a child even though I did those like classes that uh, help you with it sometimes I see words my brain is just like hmm today I will not say this right even though I know how to say it uh So this is the third vault of the stream so far. Come on. We did the one with the fiends, and then we did vault 22, which was pretty cool. A little frustrating at the end, but I really liked how it looked. And now we're just starting in this one. And we're gonna find out what happened here. I hate Kate. Thank you, rat friends. I do really like the, uh, learning about the vaults as you go through them. Uh, 
Vault 11 election guide. Dear fellow Vault Dweller, congratulations. Your dedication to the democratic process is the bedrock upon which the continued stability of Vault 11 is based. Now, to help you make your decision for this year's election, the Coalition of Vault 11 Voting Blocks has put together this handy Dweller's official guide to obtaining overseers democratically or do good. That contains a summary of the leading candidates for overseer as well as their statements, key positions, and most importantly, endorsements. Sincerely, Ray Gottlieb, Chairman, Coalition of Vault 11 Voting Block, President, Justice Block. Candidate, Henry Glover. Endorsements. Uh, I'm a devoted husband and father of six beautiful children. My oldest, Sam, was on the honor roll this quarter, and I couldn't be proud of him. My youngest, Henry Jr., just said his first word, and it was Dada. You've got this bond already, and he's still just a baby. Friends, when you go to the polls this election, I want you to think of your own children. Then, I want you to think of Sam and Henry Jr. Picture their faces. Nate Stone should be overseer. Not me? Candidate, Donna Haley. Endorsements. Blah, blah, blah. I'm aware of the rumors circulating about me. I want everyone to know that they are vicious lies being spread by the other candidates in a desperate smear campaign. I've never in my life did anything so depraved, let alone for such things. But even if I had, that still wouldn't mean you should vote for me. Consider the fact that I am grossly underqualified for the position and that both of my opponents are far more deserving. You know nothing about governance. You'd be hard-pressed to find a worse candidate than me. I can promise you my administration would be a disaster. Candidate, Nathan Stone. This is ridiculous. I shouldn't even be a candidate. I wouldn't be if it weren't for all the dirty backroom politics going on around here. It's sickening. You should all be ashamed. Notice of postponement. Fellow citizens, due to the tragic events of the past few days, the Coalition of Vault 11 Voting Box has unanimously decided to postpone the election for overseer, pending further investigation into the murders. Your security team wishes you to know that they are working tirelessly day and night to find the perpetrator, and are already following up on a number of promising leads. God willing, if the killer is apprehended swiftly, we may have found a promising new candidate for overseer. Sincerely, Terry Hart, President, Human Dignity Block. Overseer Order 745. Effective immediately, the traditional selection process for overseers hereby ended. In lieu of a yearly election, a citizen will be chosen one month prior to the start of his or her term with the mainframe's random number generator, ensuring complete impartiality and fairness. Catherine Stone, Overseer. Hmm. That sounds... strange. <laughs> I think there's quite a bit to explore in this vault. Um, this door. That's way it goes up these stairs. Ah. Just see if I can wait until we get a. Uh... There's certainly gonna be beds in here, so I'll wait just a bit. Ah, don't scroll chat. Uh, Vault 11 election guide. Dear fellow vault dwellers, congratulations! Your dedication to the democratic process is the bedrock of pound. Oh, wait, I already read this. I had already read that. Okay, well, that one was a bomb. For some reason. Uh, guess we'll go down the staircase. Where are you taking me? Uh, living quarters is good. rats for helping. Yeah, waiting. So I assume we'll find a bed fairly soon. Okay. 
Oh, it's just a part. I don't need that lunchbox then. Uh... Female dorm. Admin. Um, let's get this way. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take. Oh, there's enemies nearby. sleep yet. There are not enemies nearby. Okay, apparently there were. But Veronica punched them. Okay, we're good as new now. That's how your limbs heal in real life if you didn't know. I did not mean to do that. Welcome, Mr. Gottlieb. Security recording. Election guide. Okay, this one we did see. Um, okay, so we got some tapes. Governments. 
Roy, all we have to do is wait until someone from Justice Block gets picked for Overseer. Then we have him change the law back. There won't be any blocks after the new Overseer is picked tomorrow. Everyone's going to move on. By the time we've reformed, who knows if we'll still be in the majority? We can hold the block together. You don't know that. Besides, what if the computer picks you? What if it picks me? And your solution is to start shooting? Not if we don't have to. Look, we arm up. We go to the lower floors, take some strategic targets. Power, food, water. Just until she turns authority over to us. The other blocks won't support it. They're tired of us having the power. We have the majority. We don't need them. This isn't a vote, Roy. They'll fight back. They've never had the nerve. Hell of a way to test it. have gone in and the staircase wait what I saw Edie over here I stuff to give them I think Ah, Edie, why can't you stay in one place? Uh... You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Gonna hear. This one, we haven't. everything and the male dorm at least it's two rooms two rooms and then we'll go to the female dorm and then admin okay <coughs> There's something in here growling. It's... No, it's just this rat. Okay, bye. Down here. Okay, I think they're both just... 
shoe. Oh. Thanks, Veronica. <laughs> Now we can go to the admin room. Security overseer's office. Uh, let's go to the overseer's office if we can get in there. Actually, okay, let's see if this is on the same level. I try to get everything on one level done before I move on to the next area, otherwise I will get confused. Excerpt from the deposition of the defendant Catherine Stone by Vault Attorney General Gerald Miles. Uh, question. Okay, let's pick up where he left off, Kate. Answer. Catherine. Question. Sorry, right. Catherine. I keep forgetting. Answer. My husband calls me Kate. Question. You're telling us of a discussion you allegedly had with Roy Gottlieb of the Justice Block. Answer. Not allegedly. Had. We've been through this. Question. It's still just your word against his, Miss Stone, but please, the discussion. A answer. <sighs> he said my husband's name had come up in their meetings. Question. The candidate endorsement meetings? Answer. Yes, they were going to endorse him. He wouldn't say why, but I know my husband had a regular poker game with some of them, and he'd be on a winning streak lately. Question. And according to you, what did Mr. Gottlieb offer? Answer. He said he could sway his block, prevent the endorsement, but only if I... Question. Only if you what, Catherine? Answer. Only if I... Question. Only if you perform sexual favors? Answer. Yes. Question. Was this just for Mr. Gottlieb? Answer. No. All the block leadership. They're friends. Question. And you agreed? Answer. What else could I do if they had a majority? Question. How long did this go on before the endorsements came out? Answer. I don't know. A month, maybe? Question. And when they came out, and your husband was endorsed despite your supposed agreement, was that when you decided to kill members of the block? Answer. Yes. I thought their majority is pretty slim. If I thin things out a little, especially in their leadership, someone else might get elected. Question. Assuming you weren't ca assuming you weren't caught. Answer. No, Mr. Miles. I expected to be caught. That was my best chance. Now they'll elect me. Answer. Or question. A confessed murderer? You think voters would be willing to risk putting you in charge? Answer. They have to pick somebody and live with their reasons. Question. Yes, but answer. Wait and see. Hmm. Yeah, I am. Sorry. <clears throat> I choked on my water. I think I'm starting to piece it together. Ugh, I'm okay. <laughs> it's just, it went down the wrong way. Um... Hooray. Mm. 
making many new of Jesus. everything in here. Okay, now let's go to the overseer's office. Security, overseer's office. Here first. Oh. It's key. I guess we can't get that yet. That's blocked off. <clears throat> Rat, I'm not coming for you. That's uh, why it looks like it's just blocked off. Uh, atrium. Let's go here first. something in here that they want to kill. That's the mantises. Looks like whatever happened in here didn't end well. That's where it came in from. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Watch Veronica. That's a lot for Oh. Jesus, Veronica. She sets off everything. There's lots of places to go in here. What was up here? Just need to double check. Security, overseer's office. Go through there. This way's blocked off for sure. Okay. So we got <clears throat> we need to go this way.
is that? Um, that one's back there. Hello, Poha72, how are you? There's another way that was not in the water over here. That rat is just gonna be swimming forever. I save since we did get the uh, reactor. And the giant mantises are everywhere here. side. Let's go in the store first. <clears throat> oh, it's been pretty good. I'm getting kind of hungry, but I'm having fun playing, so <clears throat> whenever I end, I'll probably eat breakfast. How are you doing today? suit, I think. And then let's, our... let's go ahead and take a... I'm trying to wake up. Yeah, it is pretty early. I went to bed at 6 p.m. so I woke up at 3.30. <laughs> Atrium cafeteria. I keep forgetting to look for bombs, but I have the uh, perk that you don't set them off because I never remember to look for them. Oh, yeah. Is this. I was running into them. <laughs> Constantly. My wife was like, please take the perk that lets you uh, not step on mines. Gladly. Okay. We need to go to. Trium. <laughs> yeah, I know you can disable him, but <laughs> like you said, it's always too late. I'm already already stepping on it by the time I see that. Prepared speech of Gus Olson, Ombudsman for the annual overseer election. 
that. We'll play that in a second. Come apart the human dignity block. Enlist with the justice block. Terminal. Actually, let's see if we can. Can we just listen to this? Oh. Well, we can. I'll read it. Good afternoon. Each year, it is the appointed task of the Omsbudmen Omsbud not only to officiate the election, but to chronicle it in hopes that after the last overseer has finished his term, and walk to his death in the chamber beneath his office, and then the vault has become still, that one day some excavated from humanity, or perhaps some yet unknown race of super beings, might find our records and incorporate them into historical canon. But like, lately it's occurred to me that it's not really why. I think the real reason we do it is because we want to believe that somewhere in the archives there's an answer to all of this, or perhaps there will be when the historical records are completed and the whole story is told. We want it to make sense. To understand why the vault's mainframe will kill us if we do not offer one of our own as a yearly sacrifice. To fully comprehend why we continue to have these elections despite the unfettered corruption that has plagued it for what must be decades by now. There was a simpler time when elections meant shaking hands and kissing babies. Now with the rise of voting blocks and this infantation of bribery, drug trafficking, smuggling, and god knows what else, we don't want to know why. Well, I've been through the archives and I can tell you that you won't find the answer there. To find the counter the first overseer who entered the vault as the only citizen aware of the sacrifices that would have to take place. But he didn't have the answers either. If he did, surely he would have foreseen the citizen's anger when he broke the news. Surely he would have guessed that they would have wanted to choose a sacrifice democratically in the way that we citizens are accustomed to washing our hands of terrible deeds. That his name would be at the top of the polls, and that the simultaneous vacancy of overseer and martyr would forever fuse the two positions here in Vault 11. But he didn't. He had the answers no more than any of the us, and the records state that after the citizens discovered that the sacrificial chamber's password was his wife Betty's first name, and its door was unsealed so he could be offered as the first sacrifice, he walked down that room crying like a child. I can only wonder if there are no answers to be found, and we are just going along with this because we don't see another choice. Nevertheless, I still hold on to hope that we can find one. I urge you all to take the journey I took, to remember that it wasn't so long ago that we were ruled by our civility and our dignity. And that those were times that we didn't have to be quite so ashamed. Thank you. Wow. Damn. This fall is pretty fucked up. Now we gotta get back to the overseer's office, so let's go back down here. Um, did not check this area though. Oh. At. Why not? Why is the rebreather off? I don't know why I took that off. It was probably an accident. coming here. Ooh, another stealth boy.
I have become lost here. Okay. Now I need to get back through the water. It's a swimming rat. So I just go in a circle. Yes, I did. Stop going in a circle. Okay. Overseer order 745. Effective immediately, the traditional over. Oh, I already read that. Open sacrificial chamber. naked. Greetings, Martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Perhaps you never got to have grandkids or to enjoy the pleasures of a fresh cigar. But march with your chin held high, soldier. And remember, 
that each of us has an important role to play. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people. Sure, it might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget when you met the love of your life? What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now and imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. Wear clothes, please. Why am I over encumbered? God, there's so many.
Damn. Well, that was fucked up. Vault tech do be fucked up. I was expecting something like that, but hearing it is just makes it even worse. for nothing. It's got a circle. Oh, thank you, Piggles. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Hope you're having a nice day. Okay, made it out of there. And three vaults today, and they're all, uh... What? That one was definitely the most, uh... Messed up. Uh, Vault 22 is pretty uh, creepy just because of what happened, but 
That one was just humans doing it to themselves. There's a giant ant. And there's some Caesar's Legion. Let's uh, get out of here before <laughs> they walk over here. Okay, we are going to go back to Hidden Valley Bunker. Opened the window for my cat Slayer a couple hours ago on stream, and he's still just sitting there, watching peacefully. Uh, let's see. Let me get back to the overseer. Ramos runs a tight ship. We haven't had an incident in over a year. You are Um. So when my sleep schedule is normal, which it hasn't been, I tend to stream, uh, start streaming from anywhere from 2 p.m. Eastern to 8 p.m. Eastern. But uh, it's been a little messed up lately, which is why I've been streaming uh, really early for where I live. Um, I do usually post a schedule. I have a Twitter that you can find in my about section where I post a schedule, and I also have a schedule beneath my stream. I haven't updated it yet, but typically I stream Monday through Friday, but uh, I got some stuff to do this week, so I'm not sure what days I'm going to be streaming on. Obviously, it's Monday right now, but... Uh... I'll probably be streaming Fallout every evening this week, but uh, I will be posting an updated schedule as soon as I finish streaming. <laughs> Normally I've more, been more organized in regards to that, but I just haven't got to it yet. Can't talk to him? Oh, Veronica wants to. Veronica, I hope. I brought you a present. This disc has secrets to breeding plants that can thrive in the wasteland. High Elder Maxon didn't found us to be botanists, Veronica. Think about it. No more trading guns for food. Total self-sufficiency. It's what we always wanted. This won't get us Hoover Dan. Yes, it will. If we feed people, they'll support us. They'll join us. What does the Codex say? A bunch of closed-minded bullshit. <laughs> we do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance. For me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. I know. Come on. I can't listen to this anymore. What's up? Sorry, Veronica. I have to talk to him for a quest. Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? What? They had all of them. Oh, I gotta talk to Lorenzo. <laughs> if you kill him, you get his secret gun or his cool gun and secret key. Oh no. He wouldn't listen. The truth was right there, staring him in the face. How could he not listen? There was never any chance. His mind was made up from the start. I see that now. I thought I knew him better than that, but it was like talking to a stranger. How can I help them when they won't accept it? Where does that leave you? I... I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life somewhere else. Work with the followers of the apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do whatever I can. 
until it comes to a slow or sudden end. You're the only one who could make this decision. Not even a hint, huh? Jeez, I really am all alone on this one. I guess I'll stay. If I left, there wouldn't be any coming back. It might be something I'd instantly regret. Things are gonna get harder for the Brotherhood before they get easier. I should support them in whatever way I can. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this. And some fresh air would do me some good. Right about now. I don't know if it's the right decision for Veronica to stay with the Brotherhood, but I felt like I should not sway her because it's not my choice, it's hers. I need to talk to you. Hello, Agent Lemons. Oh no, you usually kill Veronica too. I have good karma right now. Goo -goo -goo. Let me see. I got the Jesus, the Jesus Vault Boy. I wouldn't mind being a uh, neutral and doing a uh, hey. nasty character. Oh, come back here. Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? I mean, I was at negative 750 karma by like five hours in the game. I could not get any good karma. Uh, they're all right. I wanted to ask you some questions. Sure. Oh, I guess I just have to give them. Come Good back here. Alive, that is. They're all right here. Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. You're being watched. Well, no, so don't get any ideas. Gosh, quiet. <laughs> Hello. I do know that uh, if you side with Mr. House, you have to kill the Brotherhood because they did not have time to finish the path where you make a treaty with them, which kind of sucks. Alright. Yeah, I'm liking it a lot. I would go to far as say as I love it, and that's just my first playthrough. Back again, I see. I did. Lorenzo's on it. Good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios, but I left that battle scarred by fear and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. Ooh. With luck, we will once again flourish. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house to the northeast. I hope it will prove useful in your travels. You have a good day too, Pickles. Ooh. Auto shotgun with coin shot. Interesting. Uh, what do you have to say now? Anything? Welcome, outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. With the surface open to us once again, Arden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios. But I hope to dissuade him. What can I do for you? I want to join the Brotherhood. You've certainly earned the right. But I'm afraid there's a slight matter of protocol that must be dealt with first. Exceptional individuals, like yourself, are sometimes allowed to join the Brotherhood if they perform a valuable service for it. While your actions up to this point have been commendable, are I'm you afraid kidding they me? don't quite qualify as such a service. However, I do have another task that fits the bill rather nicely. Would you consider undertaking it? What's the task? 
As one of our patrols discovered, the mutants just to the northeast have become strangely violent in the years we were secluded. However, this turn of events could also be an opportunity. We mostly left the equipment of the communications array there alone, out of respect. As the inhabitants have now proven themselves hostile, no more respect will be accorded them, making their equipment fair game. I want you to head up to the summit of Black Mountain and install this remote signal transmitter in one of their consoles. It will allow us to tap into the radar and other detection systems running there, assuming they're still operational. If we're going to operate on the surface again, it would be nice to do so with as much information at our fingertips as possible. Good luck. Well, I already cleared out Black Mountain, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Oh no. So, uh, one of the issues for the minor issues I have with this game is that, uh, it <laughs> clicks on stuff all over the screen on my second monitor. I just scrolled the chat. Pause. It scrolled the chat up, so now I can't read it, which is annoying. Oh, there you go. Got it back. What's up? Get any new dialogues? How do you feel about the other members? I called them family before. That's not far off. Both the good and the bad. It's like a big unending family reunion in that bunker. There's people you love, people you'll never speak to again, and it's always awkward when you run into someone you used to date. remember how to get out of here. <laughs> Stand for this. Woo! You have the speech check pass. Uh, let's see what's past it. I don't get what the big deal is. This isn't your place. You neither head scribe nor elder. Won't stand for what? She plans to respect the elder's decision. <laughs> you don't have a say. Go back in your cave. Speech 95. Ideals are strengthened by the challenges they endure. Veronica's questioning did you a service. Hmm. She'd be doing a greater service by carrying out her duties and not trying to undermine the Elder's authority. This had better be the last time her loyalty falters. You've been warned. The fu what? God. I should get used to this, I guess. People get desperate. They turn on each other. First thing to go is trust. I don't think it's ever going to be the same for me in there. Knowing no matter what I do, it's going to end badly. But they're all I have. Are you still going to travel with me? Yeah. I've got the rest of my life to help them out. I'll just for a little while to see things through with you. It's not too late to change your mind. No, I think it is. I have to be resolved about this. If I waver, it'll just make things harder. They need me, and I'm not going to abandon them. Good idea. <laughs>
definitely want that one. Uh, I'm just gonna show this for on his purple on here. over to Black Mountain because that has already been taken care of. suit. Excuse me. Click on install the device as directed. Immediately a small green lineup begins pulsing, indicating it has begun transmitting. That's why I can't wear it. What the heck am I wearing? Nothing. Um, put on a jumpsuit. There you are. A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood, so we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The Paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. Consult the advice of the Black Mountain as instructed. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. 
but I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? Don't I just put it on? If only it were that simple. Think of power armor as a machine to be operated, rather than clothing you'd wear. With a little instruction, using it becomes as natural as simple movement. But to the ignorant, it's just so much heavy junk. So let's bring you up to speed, shall we? First, let's go over how to put it on. I'm over encumbered. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you. Not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now. And your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. Remember. Even though we just dropped a bunch of crap in here. So, I think next time we're gonna do this Great Cons quest. But for now, I'm gonna um, call the end of the stream because it's been about five hours and I'm getting kind of hungry. It's breakfast time. I appreciate all of you who came to watch. Uh, like I said a bit earlier, I will have a schedule up. At some point. Uh, but I do plan on streaming more Fallout New Vegas this week, of course. Uh, let's see. Let's raid someone today. Let's see who's live. Let's see if Richard Sage is still live. Uh, yeah, he is. He's playing Wind Waker, so let's go say hi to him. He's pretty cool. So, I'm gonna roll on over there. And thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Oh, spin attack is hold. Okay.